This is example 6 of chapter 5, soil classification. In, in this example, we are given a table that shows the sieve analysis results, the uh, at per limit test results, and also D60, D30, D10 values, which we typically read from a particle size distribution curve. So we're going to classify this soil using USCS. And the first step in this process is to calculate the percent of fine grain, coarse grain, gravel, and sand. So for a percent of fine, uh, it's basically the percent corresponding to uh, number 200, uh, finer than number 200 sieve. So this column percent finer is the same as percent passing. So we have 5% soil passing number 200. So that's 5% of fine grain soils. And then the course is 100% minus percent of fines. And that's 100 minus 5, so 95% coarse grain soil. And then the gravel, so gravel is anything larger than number 4 sieve. So we have 97% finer than number 4, which means we have 100 minus 97, that's 3% coarser or retained above. So it's 100% minus percent passing or finer than number 4. So that's 100 minus 97%. And that's 3%. So we have 3% gravel. And then percent sand is percent coarse minus percent gravel. And so that's uh, 95 minus 3, so that's 92%. Okay. So we have percent of different types of particles. And then we are also given these D values. So these are again are typically read from a particle size distribution curve. Okay, so since we are given these values, we can calculate the uh, two coefficients: the coefficient of uniformity, D60 over D10. So if you plug in these values, so D60 is 0.71, and D10 is 0.18. So that's 3.9 and then CC value coefficient of gradation D30 square over D60 over D60 times D10 and if you plug in these numbers 0.34 square over D60 is 0 0.61 71 times 0.18 okay. so that gives you a value of 0.91. Okay. So that's given. And then for LL and PL, instead of giving value, we're given uh, the fact that the soil is non plastic. So we know that the fine contents of the soil is suit. It's not clay because it's non plastic. Okay. So that's what we can get from this. Now let's look at table 5.2 to find the group symbol first. Okay. So this is group symbol, uh, group symbol table. And so let's start with the left-hand side again. So we have 95% of coarse. So we're going to use this top portion. So we have coarse percent of 95. Okay. So we have to use this top portion. And then 92% of the soil is sand and 3% is uh, gravel so we have more sands than gravel so we're going to pick sands so again what this means is you have more sands than gravel okay and then uh, the percent of fines are uh, is five percent so you have five percent but then if you look at these two conditions one is less than five percent one is more than 12%. Okay. So that 5% is actually a special case. So if you look at the um, this footnote B here. Okay. If you look at footnote B, you notice that for sand with 5 to 12% fines, it's a dual symbol case. In, in our example, uh, we have percent of fine is five percent okay okay so we know it's a dual symbol case okay. 
and for dual symbol as we uh, talked about in class this first part of the dual symbol relates to gradation so the first part relates to gradation and to determine if the soil is well or poorly graded we need to use CU and CC we know CU equals to 3.9 and CC is 0.91 okay. so 3.9 is smaller than 6 and 0.91 is smaller than 1 okay. and given these two conditions we know this is a poorly graded soil or specifically this is poorly graded sand so remember for sand to be well graded you have to have CC between 1 and 3 and CU greater than 6 so this one this soil doesn't meet that condition so this is poorly graded we know it's going to be SP okay. P for poorly graded and S because we have more sands so it's going to be sand and then the second portion of the dual symbol relates to the plastic or the fine contents and because it's non-plastic okay, we know the fine contents are suit okay. so this gives us the second portion of the dual symbol SM okay. so this again this is part one of the dual symbol and this is part two of the dual symbol and combining these two gives us the complete uh, group symbol so for this soil the group symbol is SPSM okay. now we have the group symbol then for group name we're going to use the group name figure so for this case figure 5.4 we know the group name is SPSM and then for this particular example we have percent of gravel is 3% okay so that means it's less than 15% so the group name is poorly graded sand with suit so that's the group name poorly graded sand with suit okay. 